Reflecting Christ, December 24th, God's people protected. Psalms 121, verse 5 to 7. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Remember that song from Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir? Beautiful. When Christ ceases his intercession in the sanctuary, the unmingled wrath threatened against those who worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, Revelation 14, 9 and 10, will be poured out. The plagues upon Egypt when God was about to deliver Israel were similar in character to those more terrible and extensive judgments which are to fall upon the world just before the final deliverance of God's people. These plagues are not universal. I repeat, these plagues are not universal or the inhabitants of the earth would be wholly cut off. Yet they will be the most awful scourges that have ever been known to mortals. All the judgments upon men prior to the close of probation have been mingled with mercy. The pleading blood of Christ has shielded the sinner from receiving the full measure of his guilt. But in the final judgment, wrath is poured out unmixed with mercy. The people of God will not be free from suffering, but while persecuted and distressed, while they endure privation and suffer for want of food, they will not be left to perish. That God who cared for Elijah will not pass by one of his self-sacrificing children. He who numbers the hairs of their head will care for them, and in time of famine they shall be satisfied. While the wicked are dying from hunger and pestilence, angels will shield the righteous and supply their wants. To him that walketh righteously is the promise. Bread shall be given him his water shall be sure isaiah 33 15 and 16 when the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for thirst i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them although the fig tree shall not blossom neither shall fruit be in the vines yet shall they that fear him rejoice in the lord and joy in the god of their salvation the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night the lord shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler from the noisome pestilence that's covid covid is a pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Those who receive the seal of the living God in their foreheads and are protected in the time of trouble must reflect the image of Jesus fully. Hope you have a great day today. Reflect Christ.